What if the DNA of one nation could tell the story of an entire continent? Mongolia, land of vast steppes, fierce nomads, and the great Genghis Khan, is a place shrouded in mystery and legend. But beneath the surface lies something even more fascinating, the story of its people, written in their genes. Mongolia has always been a land of extremes, from its rugged terrain to its larger-than-life historical figures. For centuries, historians have marveled at how this small nation created the largest contiguous empire the world has ever seen. But what about the people themselves? Where did they come from? What secrets do their genes hold about ancient migrations, lost empires, and the blending of civilizations? In recent years, scientists have been digging deep into Mongolian genetics, and their findings are nothing short of astounding. From the Paleolithic hunter-gatherers who first roamed these lands to the genetic echoes of Genghis Khan's conquests, the story of Mongolian DNA is one of complexity, diversity, and resilience. Today, We'll journey through time to uncover the surprising origins of Mongolian genetics, explore its ties to ancient civilizations, and learn why this small nation holds some of the biggest secrets about human history. Let's dive in. Mongolia isn't just a country, it's a bridge between worlds. Sandwiched between the vast expanses of Siberia and the towering mountains of Central Asia, Mongolia has always been a crossroads for human history. It's a place where ancient nomads thrived, where cultures clashed and mingled, and where the open steppe shaped the destiny of entire civilizations. For centuries, the Silk Road, one of the most important trade routes in history, passed through this region. Traders from China, Persia, and even Europe brought goods, ideas, and yes, their genes. Mongolia's position at the heart of the Eurasian steppe made it a melting pot of cultures long before the concept of globalization. But Mongolia's history isn't just about trade, it's about survival. The harsh climate, with its brutal winters and unpredictable summers, forced its people to adopt a nomadic lifestyle. For thousands of years, Mongolians lived off the land, herding animals, moving with the seasons, and forging an unbreakable bond with nature. This way of life wasn't just practical, it was a key factor in preserving their genetic identity. What makes Mongolia's genetic story so unique is this balance between diversity and resilience. On one hand, their location brought waves of migration and interaction with other cultures. On the other, their nomadic traditions acted as a buffer, preserving their core identity even as the world around them changed. Understanding Mongolia's genetics is like peeling back the layers of history. It shows us how a nation can be both a product of its environment and a player on the global stage. As we delve deeper, we'll see how these crossroads of history left an indelible mark on the DNA of its people. The genetic story of Mongolia begins tens of thousands of years ago, during the Paleolithic era. Long before recorded history, early humans made their way to this rugged land. These hunter-gatherers were among the first to settle in the region, living off the bounty of the land and adapting to its challenging environment. Archaeological discoveries from this period reveal a fascinating glimpse into their lives. Tools, cave paintings, and even skeletal remains paint a picture of a people who were resourceful and resilient. But it's their DNA that tells the most compelling story. Studies have shown that these early inhabitants of Mongolia were closely related to ancient populations in Siberia and northern Asia. This makes sense, as the open steppe would have been a natural migration route for early humans moving across the continent. As the Neolithic period dawned, a major shift occurred. This was the era when humans began to domesticate animals and experiment with farming. In Mongolia, however, the story was a bit different. While agriculture transformed many parts of the world, the harsh climate of the Mongolian steppe wasn't suited for large-scale farming. Instead, the people here became pioneers of animal domestication. Horses, sheep, and cattle became central to their way of life, a tradition that continues to this day. Genetically, this period marked a turning point. New waves of migration brought fresh genetic influences from Central Asia and beyond. These newcomers didn't replace the existing population, instead, they blended with them, creating a unique genetic tapestry that would define Mongolia for millennia. 
The Paleolithic and Neolithic eras laid the foundation for what would become the Mongolian identity. They established the region as a meeting point for ancient populations, setting the stage for the genetic and cultural diversity that would come to define this extraordinary land. As we move forward in time, another major chapter in Mongolia's genetic story unfolds with the arrival of early nomadic tribes, particularly the Scythians. These ancient warriors and herders roamed the vast Eurasian steppes, leaving a profound impact on the genetic and cultural landscape of Mongolia. The Scythians were more than just nomads. They were a sophisticated society known for their advanced metalwork, horse-riding prowess, and unique burial practices. Archaeological discoveries, like the elaborate kurgans, burial mounds, scattered across the steppes, have provided invaluable insights into their lives. These burial sites often contain preserved remains of warriors, their horses, and intricate artifacts that showcase their wealth and skill. Genetic studies of these burial sites reveal a fascinating mix of ancestries. The Scythians themselves were a blend of European and Central Asian lineages, a testament to the vast distances they traveled and the diverse populations they encountered. In Mongolia, they contributed significantly to the genetic makeup of the local populations, bringing new influences while also integrating with the existing communities descended from Paleolithic and Neolithic inhabitants. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Scythians' legacy is their role in spreading the culture of the horse. They are credited with refining horseback riding, which would become a cornerstone of Mongolian life. This cultural exchange wasn't just practical, it reshaped the very identity of the Mongolian people, linking them more closely to the nomadic traditions that still define them today. Despite their influence, the Scythians didn't last forever. Their dominance waned as new groups emerged in the region, but their genetic and cultural imprint remained. In many ways, they set the stage for the rise of the Mongolian nomads who would come after them, people who would take the art of horseback riding, the spirit of the steppe, and the legacy of mobility to unimaginable heights. The Scythian story is a reminder of how interconnected the ancient world was. Their migrations, interactions, and innovations are all part of the intricate web that makes up Mongolia's genetic heritage, a heritage that was about to reach its most dramatic chapter yet. When you think of Mongolia, one name immediately comes to mind, Genghis Khan. The Mongol Empire, founded by this legendary conqueror, wasn't just the largest contiguous empire in history, it was also a genetic phenomenon. The empire's rapid expansion reshaped the DNA of not just Mongolia, but much of the world. Under Genghis Khan's leadership, the Mongols united disparate tribes and launched an unprecedented campaign of conquest. At its height, the empire stretched from Korea to Eastern Europe, connecting cultures and populations that had previously been isolated. This incredible movement of people led to a significant exchange of genes, languages, and traditions. One of the most famous genetic findings related to the Mongol Empire is the so-called Genghis Khan haplotype. A genetic study in 2003 found that about 16 million men across Asia share a specific Y-chromosome lineage that likely traces back to Genghis Khan and his male descendants. This finding highlights the massive influence of the Mongol Empire on the genetic makeup of populations across Asia. But the Mongol Empire's genetic legacy isn't just about one lineage. The empire's vast and diverse population brought together people from Europe, Persia, Central Asia, and China. In Mongolia itself, this diversity enriched the genetic pool, creating a unique blend of ancestries. Culturally, the Mongol Empire also left a lasting mark. It reinforced the nomadic traditions of Mongolia while integrating new influences from the lands it conquered. The empire's reliance on horses, its mobile lifestyle, and its open exchange of ideas and technologies all played a role in shaping the Mongolian identity. What's remarkable is how much of this legacy endures today. Modern Mongolians still carry the genetic and cultural imprint of this era, reflecting both the diversity and the unity that defined the Mongol Empire. The story of the empire isn't just one of conquest, it's a story of connection, adaptation, and the enduring power of a shared identity. As we continue, we'll explore how modern genetic studies have uncovered even more surprising connections between Mongolia and the ancient world, revealing layers of history that were once hidden.
In recent years, advances in genetic research have brought a new dimension to our understanding of Mongolia's past. Modern DNA studies are unlocking secrets that were buried for thousands of years, revealing a genetic tapestry as vast and diverse as the Mongolian steppe itself. One of the most striking discoveries is how deeply rooted the genetic legacy of Mongolia is. Studies of ancient DNA have confirmed that modern Mongolians carry a significant proportion of ancestry from the Jaman people, early Siberians, and Central Asian nomads. These genetic links go back tens of thousands of years, connecting Mongolia to ancient populations that lived across the Eurasian continent. Surprisingly, modern Mongolians also carry genetic markers from populations far beyond their borders, a testament to the Mongol Empire's reach. DNA evidence shows connections to Europe, the Middle East, and even South Asia, reflecting centuries of migration, conquest, and trade. This blending of genes tells a story of a people who were never static, always moving, adapting, and integrating. One particularly fascinating discovery comes from studies of horse domestication. The DNA of ancient Mongolian horses reveals they were among the first domesticated in the world, dating back nearly 4,000 years. This genetic link underscores the pivotal role of horses in shaping Mongolian society, from early nomads to the riders of Genghis Khan's armies. Modern genetic studies have also uncovered surprising evidence of resilience. Despite centuries of outside influence, from Chinese dynasties to Russian expansion, Mongolians have preserved a core genetic identity. This continuity is largely attributed to their nomadic lifestyle, which acted as a protective barrier against large-scale assimilation. But there's more than just history hidden in Mongolia's genes. Genetic research is shedding light on how Mongolians have adapted to their harsh environment. For example, studies reveal unique genetic traits that help them survive at high altitudes and endure extreme temperatures, showing how evolution and environment work hand in hand. These modern genetic discoveries are more than just scientific curiosities, they're a window into the human story. They remind us that Mongolia isn't just a land of empires and nomads. It's a living laboratory of human adaptation, migration, and survival, holding lessons for all of us. Mongolia's story is one of resilience, both cultural and genetic. For thousands of years, its people have faced waves of change, from climatic shifts to invasions by foreign powers. Yet, through it all, they've preserved their unique identity, adapting without losing what makes them distinctly Mongolian. One of the most significant factors behind this resilience is the nomadic lifestyle. While much of the world transitioned to sedentary farming, Mongolians remained mobile, moving with the seasons and living in harmony with the land. This way of life not only helped them survive in a harsh environment, but also insulated them from large-scale cultural assimilation. Culturally, Mongolia's nomads developed strong traditions that remain alive today. From the iconic Gur, Yurt, to throat singing in the Natam festival, these customs are more than just practices, they're expressions of a way of life that has endured for millennia. This cultural continuity is mirrored in their genetics, which show surprising stability despite centuries of interaction with other populations. Genetically, Mongolians have managed to retain a core identity while incorporating influences from neighboring regions. This blending of continuity and diversity is what makes their genetic heritage so fascinating. It's a testament to their ability to adapt and thrive while staying true to their roots. Even during the most challenging periods of their history, such as the fall of the Mongol Empire or the pressures of modern colonization, Mongolians have held on to their traditions and sense of self. This resilience is now being celebrated as part of a broader effort to preserve and promote their culture in the modern era. Today, Initiatives like language preservation programs, cultural festivals, and even genetic studies are helping to keep Mongolia's rich heritage alive. Younger generations are rediscovering their roots, embracing the traditions of their ancestors while forging a path forward in a rapidly changing world. The story of Mongolia's cultural and genetic resilience is an inspiration. It shows us that even in the face of immense change, it's possible to adapt without losing who you are. It's a reminder that heritage, whether cultural or genetic, isn't just about the past. It's about the future and what we choose to carry forward. 
So why does any of this matter? Why should we care about the genetic story of Mongolia? The answer lies in what it teaches us, not just about the past, but about ourselves. Mongolia's genetics hold a mirror to humanity's shared history. They reveal how ancient populations moved, mingled, and adapted to their environments. By studying Mongolian DNA, scientists have uncovered key insights into human migration patterns, showing how the vast steppes of Central Asia were not just a barrier, but a bridge connecting civilizations. For example, the discovery of the Genghis Khan haplotype isn't just a curiosity, it's a reminder of how one man's legacy reshaped the world. Similarly, the genetic ties between Mongolians and ancient Siberians, Jaman people, and Central Asians provide a clearer picture of humanity's deep past. But it's not just about history. Understanding Mongolian genetics also has practical implications for science today. Studies of how Mongolians have adapted to their extreme environment could lead to breakthroughs in medicine, helping people adapt to high altitudes or extreme climates. Their genetic diversity also provides valuable data for studying disease resistance and human evolution. Culturally, Mongolia's story is a reminder of the importance of preserving heritage. In a world that often prioritizes progress over tradition, the resilience of Mongolia's people is an inspiration. It shows us that it's possible to embrace modernity without losing your identity, a lesson that resonates far beyond the step. Finally, Mongolia's genetics matter because they remind us of the richness of human diversity. Every strand of DNA tells a story, and Mongolia's story is one of connection, resilience, and survival. By understanding it, we're not just learning about one nation, we're learning about all of us. As we close this journey through Mongolia's genetic history, let's remember that the past is never truly gone. It lives on in our genes, our traditions, and the stories we choose to tell. Mongolia's story is far from over, and its lessons will continue to shape the world for generations to come.